Take a moment right here Feeling like a sound gear Driving towards the sun With a rose and a gun Feel the wind in my hair Going nowhere I swear Like an outlaw on the run Dangerous but it's so fun Running, running
Tell my boss that I'm done Had no luck with my mom Say what will you do with your life You know it's hard to survive A cigar in my mouth Maybe guilty but proud Now I'm an outlaw on the run Dangerous but it's so fun Running, running Fumiendo cor en la que hay, ay, 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 ay. Quien no anda cor en la que hay, ay, 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 ay. Fumiendo cor en la que hay, ay, 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 ay. Quien no anda cor en la que hay, ay, 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 ay. Wow, se le pega la garaki. Uy, yo voy a ser primaraki. Casi que rats, mi nombre por tu ciudad Baby, si es que lo escuché el vecino de atrás Let's hop and crash Y si preguntan la que hay She want it, I got it, ya acabo de fixar Let's go to cats, la partidita solita You're a dog around, yeah, yeah, yeah Eso que tiene duplicado, yeah, yeah Démelo pa' el otro lado, yeah
Hello, and welcome back to the ECPI Rams channel. Thanks for joining us tonight. My name is Rydent, and I'm a member of the Rams stream team. Tonight, we're casting our team competing, our Smash team competing in the 2024 ECAC spring season. Uh, but before we continue, did you know that if you have an Amazon Prime, Amazon Prime account linked to your Twitch, you get a free Twitch.tv subscription? That's pretty lit, huh? So if you can, we invite you to use that subscription on the ECPI Rams channel to help support our Rams. All proceeds go directly to the esports program. Tonight, I'm joined by Coach James. Why don't you tell us about yourself, Coach? Hey, Ryan. Thanks for having me. Uh, my name is Coach James. I run the uh, esports program here at ECPI. We, I do all the teams, but tonight we're doing some Smash Brothers. <clears throat> all right. But before that, uh, we would like to take a quick minute to thank our ECPI University Rams sponsors, HP Omen and GameFuel. Welcome back to tonight's stream, everybody. Tonight's match features our ECPI Rams versus the Dominican University New York Chargers. Now, if you're a current student at ECPI University and you'd like to try out for the Rams, please go to ecpi.edu slash esports slash tryouts and follow the six easy steps to schedule your tryout today. All right. So our players are ready uh, tonight. We have three ECPI Rams players taking the field. Uh, first up, you have Hyrax. Hyrax, uh, last season, they played Fox. Or sorry, he played Fox, uh, but you may see some Rob here and there. Maybe some, you know, uh, some Mr. Game and Watch. But Hyrax is going for their Bachelors in Mechatronics. All right, next up we have Blue Legend Arrow, who is our new player this season. You expect to see him playing Sora or Inkling when he's up. Uh, Blue is going for his associates in Electronic Engineering. And last but not least, we have Windrift. Windrift last season played Joker for us. Uh, since since then, he has put down Joker a little bit and has decided to pick up the Sephiroth uh, to great success. Windrift is going for his bachelor's in business administration. All right. How do you feel about tonight's matchup, Coach? I'm feeling good. Uh, last season, uh, we played we faced the Dunny Chargers uh, in Smash, and uh, mm -hmm. I believe we were we did pretty well against them. I think they uh, took the game off of us though. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's been, we've had a good season so far. I think we're three Oh, and, yep. uh, the team is feeling, feeling hyped. As am I, as am I, I'm sure everyone else is hyped to watch the game as well. Yeah. Um, I mean, we've had some pretty, pretty high action moments in the smash, uh, smash competition so far. It's been mm -hmm. a lot of fun to watch. I know you guys have, uh, been watching it oh, yeah. on the Twitch channel. But Lots if you guys miss any of the action, I do. We do upload our our vods to YouTube, so you guys can rewatch all the crazy action moments that we get here on the, the live stream. Uh, so give us a follow at the on the on the Rams YouTube. All right, is that youtubecom slash ECPI uh, University or? I I would just search. Uh, ECPI Rams Esports on YouTube. There's a number after the esports. So I, I'm not going to, it's 5973. It's ECPI Rams, esports, 5973. But people aren't going to remember that. Just search for yeah. ECPI <laughs> esports and you'll, you'll find it. And you'll find it. Yeah. Looks like uh, both teams are checked in and ready to go. So it's just a matter of time here until the action gets underway. Did, uh, do we already do a latency test or we still got to? Yeah, we still here. have to do the uh, we still have to do the latency test, so we're just waiting. I think we're just waiting on uh, the Dunny Chargers to get into the lobby. Gotcha. Yeah, for everybody at home, latency test is just to make sure that the game connection is stable for both teams. All right. I wonder right. who uh, we're gonna see up first. All uh, right. Like, um, I've seen I've seen them switch it up a couple times. They've they've had all three of them starting. 
So it's it's definitely going to be a it's going to be a throw up in the air for to see who who actually starts uh starts tonight. I think I think they'd be best starting with Blue. Personally, Blue, do you think um, so? Why is that? Yeah, I, his Sora is just he has a lot of strong matchups. Like there's not a lot of characters that can you know put him on the ropes. So I feel like that's a that's a very strong character to open up with. Um, Fox, Fox, and Sephiroth are great too. Don't get me wrong, and the players behind them as well. But uh, Blue has just shown some some very strong play this season. So I, I think they might be better off opening up with him. It's my personal opinion, though. Sora, I I can agree with you on that. Sora is pretty pretty hard to counter. There's a, there's not too many bad matchups for him. Uh, there are mm-hmm. a few here and there, but. I, I would say you're right. Fox has a few like more bad matchups than Sora. Mm-hmm. Um, I know Sephiroth has more bad matchups than than Sora as well. But you know Sephiroth, yeah. Sephiroth's got a big sword, man. Like, Sephiroth's got a big sword, and sometimes he doesn't wear a shirt either. So <laughs> that's true. He gets that power up when he doesn't wear the shirt. So. He gets that power up exactly. <clears throat> Just the the aerodynamics of him. <laughs> Well, I, either way, uh, all three of these guys are ready to play. They're excited for the season. Um, yeah. I think this is the their for Hyrax and Windrift. It's their second season. Their first season mm-hmm. was kind of like a test for them, I think. And now they're, mm-hmm. I think they're in full swing. Yeah, they're for excited. sure. Yeah, and this and is then, Blue's first season. Exactly, but, uh, and he was just random. We he just came out of the woodwork one day, and I was out. the one who told him to go try out. Ah. Uh, I was, wow. I was, he was in my class and, um, I told them about the ECPI university Rams and how I was a, a streamer for you guys. And, um, he, he came back up to me after class and told me that he played smash and that he was thinking about trying out for the team. And I told him to go ahead and do it. And he said, okay, so here we are. We take players of all skill, but, um, we do try to start, you know, our best roster if we can. And for sure, you know, Blue is a talented player. And we're, I think all three of these guys are pretty close in skill level. So we're pretty lucky in that respect yeah. to have a, a very talented roster. We do. We do have a very, we have a very strong team. Um, all three, all three of them play very well. After losing um, Santhville last season, I thought it might be a little tough, but they're doing really well. Yeah. Santhville was our, Snake slash uh, Kazia, uh, Kazia, yeah, yeah. He he was something. <laughs> yes, sir. He's not not fun to play against. Let me tell no. you. No, both Snake and Kazia will mess your day up. That's for sure. The way he played Snake was very fun to watch too, with his um his use of the grenades and the uh, mines and everything. I mean, he caught people off guard all the time. Yeah, it, I mean, he just laid traps for them, just sitting there waiting. And yeah, sometimes I, I can't. I when I played against him, it was I literally couldn't see the grenades or the mines, <laughs> and so I just would fall into them all the time. Just yeah, I, just get completely blown up over and over and over again. <laughs> I mean, recently yeah. when I've been playing against the these three, the three starters here, um, it's more. They're just better than I am, I, which is why I guess I'm a, pl- a player. But their reaction speed and uh, their ability to read their opponents it just speaks to how long they've been playing this game. Yeah, the ability to predict what your opponent's going to do is huge in all fighting games. And that's a highly sought after skill for sure. Looks like uh, the teams are still trying to figure out the lobby credentials. Uh, mm-hmm. I think we're about to go into a lag test. Looks like it. All right, yep. here we go. Here's here we go here on the lag go. test. We can, if we want, if you guys want, we can uh, we can show you guys this. It's just the players running back and forth, feeling the buttons. Uh, oh, they're, they're trying. They're trying to pick random, but Hyrax over there showing the icon of Fox. <laughs> so maybe the Dunny Chargers figure that out. Maybe not. They might, yeah. All right, it's looking pretty Players good. Are, yeah, it's looking not bad actually. No, no lag. It, it looks like pretty good compared to last season when we faced them. There was a lot of lag when we played these guys last year. Really. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Lag test over. 
There we go. All right. Did they do a, they do a lag test uh, last season? All right. So that was the lag test. We're just. Uh, did we're they do a to... lag test uh, last season, coach, or no? They did. We did, and it was everything was working fine, and we were winning. Uh, but then the lag started kicking in, and it really messed with the uh, the players. So hopefully, it does that doesn't happen this season. Yeah, I'm hoping that doesn't happen tonight for sure. Looks like we're about to get into our first match here. It, let's see who's up first. It looks like Hyrax. Fox. Is All right, Hyrax is taking it. You get make and they everybody's got to make sure that they've got the right control set up because <laughs> you go in with the wrong yes. controls, tough luck. You are, yeah, you are SOL at that point. All right, here we go. Looks like Hero, Hero versus Fox. All right, should be an interesting one. Three, two, one Hero go. is interesting. He's like a close range mage. Yeah, I've never really messed around with Hero, personally. I don't he's know got, how good he is. He's pretty good. He, it's hard. He's hard to play. And some, uh, some of his moves are kind of telegraphed. So he's it's, easier to read a little bit. Right. So now he's got the Reflect on, which really doesn't do anything except reflect uh, Fox's blaster. So even if Fox wanted to shoot him, he couldn't. Gotcha. And I'll be honest with you, I've I've never seen Hyrax shoot his blaster. <laughs> yes. Not once. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, good, good edge catch. guard there. Good catch by the good hero. Edge guard. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Fox some... can come out and swing in and can definitely take the stock without taking damage. Oh, yeah. Ooh, close. That's a fast little lightning bolt there. Yeah, it is. Oh, we almost got the up smash there. He actually yeah, gets, the, gets the sour spot on the up smash there. Right, There's the there sweet spot. Yep. Beautiful. All right. Both players. Ooh, he's got low shields, but he's on the attack now. Yeah, he's getting some combos in here real quick. Yeah, Fox. I let, See, I used to play Fox on the N64, and the reason why Fox is so good is just you just run at people. Yep. Speed. He's so fast. Dang, and look at that. That kill firm. Yeah, that com he got him in a combo from the moment he spawned all the way until that end of the stock there where he finished him off with that up smash. That was beautiful. Alright. Both players seem to be feeling each other out. But see, this, this is exactly why heroes are hard to play. Fox's whole game plan is I'm going to run at your you. Pace. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to run at you. <laughs> <laughs> And Hero, while well, he's got some Hero's nasty like, uh, damage abilities, he's he got to really, yeah, he's got to play his distance a little bit, a little bit, yeah. But he also wants to be up in your face, so it's kind of weird. Yeah, it's a tough. It, it seems like a tough character Ooh. to play. Ooh, gets him with the classic up smash KO. The out of shield work, option. Hyrax. Not, good game, yes, Hyrax. Sir. All right, GG's from both <laughs> players there. All right, so that's the first player out. Um, now we got and they have to maintain their... two stocks actually, so that's actually fantastic for us. Yeah, so now they got to go through stage bands. They actually get three, so the winner gets three stage bands that they don't want to play. I think there's a total of seven, seven or eight stages they can pick from. Mm -hmm. Um. I can't remember all the names of them, but I know it's PS2, Smashville, Final Destination, Small Final Battlefield, yeah. Battlefield. And there's a few. There's two other ones. I can't. There's remember. a couple other ones on there. Oh, Yoshi Story. Um, I don't think I've ever seen anybody play Yoshi Story. Nobody likes Yoshi Story. <laughs> Yoshi Story. It's weird because all the maps are flat, right? Except for yeah. Yoshi Story. Yoshi, Yoshi Story, Story is like a bowl. It's got like a. It's like an inverted bowl. Yeah, that's it. There's a slope at the uh, edges. Yeah. Mm hmm. It's weird. So people don't like that one. Also, the uh, the kill floor, like the bottom of the map is much closer than most most other maps. I think not the ceiling enough. is too. Yeah. Not enough room to recover for some characters. 
right? So it's just different. <laughs> yeah, I think Final Destination is our team's favorite. That or PS2. I think uh, with Fox, Fox likes plat likes to have platforms so he can bully people. Like if somebody lands on the platform, uh, he can do. You saw him doing the the up air, which is yes. like his double kick, mm -hmm. and that can just carry people off the stage. So he likes the platforms, and I know Sephiroth likes platforms because he can, you know, use his sword to great effect. Mm -hmm. But I don't think Sora cares for them all that much. Ooh. Little Mac, huh? Okay, Little Mac. Interested to see some play from Little Mac. Not classically considered one of the best players out there. He's one of the lower tiered players, so uh, characters, I should say. Uh, let's it see how. It uh... really depends, because yes, he's not the highest ranked character, but he's got a. He can kill super fast. Yeah, and his recovery though is is abysmal. That's the one right. thing about him that's a little rough. Ooh, nice combo. Nice, nice chase. Yeah, nice by, combo uh... indeed. Ooh, scary. Yeah, I'd be I'd be worried right now. Power Pyrax, he's a little fast. He is fast, but he can't, like you said, he can't if he gets in the air, he's in trouble. Yes. Like, there it is. There's like the right combo. now, like right now. <laughs> okay. But now he's got oh, the he KO recovers. punch, so can... we just saw we saw the blaster. <laughs> we saw the the blaster he used the blaster for the first time, dude. For the first time in history of Irax's career, he uses the blaster. <laughs> it didn't. Oh, the KO punch is actually gone. I don't. I did not know it didn't last that long. I thought it was lasted longer. Oh. Both high damage from right now. Irax could have punished that. To, yeah, little little Max trying to play it safe, not get too close to the edge of the map, as you can see. Yeah, I think Hyrax is a little... He's just trying to play his life because uh, he wants to preserve the stocks. Yes. Oh, gets caught. Nice recovery. Oh, nice, nice little back here. Nice recovery attempt by the little Mac. That's, but... that's, that's what I'm saying. The recovery on little Mac is tough, man. I played yeah, him like a couple times. And it was rough. Ooh, good punches coming in. Good, nice little combo there from little Mac player. Oh, nice little shield counter. Very nice. I forget what it's called. A perfect counter. Perfect, remember. perfect block, I believe. Oop. Uh oh. This is yeah. <laughs> Don't want to recover bad, like oh. bad position. There we go. Actually, Gives I have him a not tail seen the Hyrax ever recover like that onto the stage because really? uh, usually it's scary. I, I don't yeah, think you, it leaves you vulnerable for that uh, that couple that second or so after you land. Right. Here we go. Can you get the KO punch? Oh, nice block. He's, He's just looking for it. Punch. He's looking for it. There. Oh, there you go. Oh, nice. my gosh. Great. Edge well played by Hyrax. Fantastic edge guarding. He's still alive, though. He can come back. He can take. Can he take three stocks with 135 damage? It's possible. I mean, you saw how fast uh, Fox can ra rack up the damage and kill. Ooh, Ooh that was death. it. That that's was the one death. right there. I saw <laughs> it before the... it happened. I knew it was going to happen. That was a. Uh... He's kicking himself right now for that. <laughs> He's kicking himself a little bit. But hey, at the end of the day. Hey, he very good plays, though. Very good plays. He got uh, five stocks for his three. So he's that, we're up to. That little Max trainer, I guess. Yeah. Yes, that is little <laughs> Max trainer. Little Mac is from, uh, shoot. What is it called? Fight Night? Not Fight Night. It was on the, the Sega Dreamcast, I believe. No, no. Was it really? It was a long time ago. It had Mike Tyson as the final boss. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and you and you were Little Mac. Punch out. That oh, is Punch game. out. Okay. Very interesting. One of those. It was a very hard game. Ganondorf. Whoa, I'll be whoa. honest you're with not, you. You're I didn't not expect to, to see Ganondorf. Don't tell the stream what, what he's oh. thinking until they're in the, into the arena. Sorry. Spoiled, I, sus, I spoiled the suspense. I don't think, yeah, they can, I don't think the stream can see it. it was, we ruined the suspense. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Well, it's a gentleman's PS2 for us.
All right. It seems it uh, like... all players have agreed to just play PS2 for the rest of the match. Uh, so cool. that's okay with us. We the stages. Yeah, we like PS2. Solid. All right. Let's, go, <laughs> let's see some Ganondorf action out of blue. Yeah, I'm excited to see that. I wasn't expecting that at all. Yeah, this is blue. Uh, bring out the Ganondorf. He was playing it a little bit at practice. Um, it is flashy, but you have to know what you're doing. Oh, yeah. All right, here we all go. Right, here we go. <laughs> it's just... I think Little Mac is just so speedy. He's going to have a little bit of problems, but Blue has some good mechanics and can read his opponents pretty well. Yes, he can. Except for that. Oh, except for that. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, oh but wait. he didn't die. He actually didn't, he didn't die. die. He didn't so... die. His stock was still there. Does that he mean he starts keeps... the next game with three stocks? He actually keeps all three stocks because he did not wow. perish. Wow. Very well done by Blue there. That is a uh, very lucky by Blue. I don't think he yeah. actually meant to go off the stage that far. I know he was trying to gimp the recovery of the little yes. Mac, but uh, I think he yeah <laughs> he went off a little further than he wanted to. I think. Yeah, that was pretty, that's that's that was cool pretty though. Wild. Seeing Ganon, seeing Blue play Ganondorf. I've seen him play Inkling and Sora, and he excels at both of them. So I'm, yeah. I'm interested to see some more Ganondorf action here. Oh, ooh, I, I, ooh this is going to be a good one. The Incineroar versus the Ganondorf. Incineroar. <laughs> well, this will be interesting. Three stocks with three Two stocks. Two big boys. Yeah. Okay. Oh, a little BM that, grab. That's okay. That move is uh, <laughs> tough. <laughs> <laughs> They're both trying to grab each other. We're both trying to get that grab off, yeah. Oh, there, there we go. Perfect block into a grab. Nice. Oh, he holds the up smash, up tilt. Oh, that's one of the things about Incineroar. Oh my gosh, he's just dead. <laughs> wow. What well, a first stock. Incineroar has a, a counter that uh, absorbs damage, and then uh, he becomes like enraged almost. He does more damage. Oh, I see. Oh, he made it. Oh, good little oh, edge guard. Good edge garden going on right now. Oh. <laughs> nice combo. Okay. Oh, he just reads the oh, counter. No. Is he going to be able to cover? Oh. oh, he's dead. I don't think he's going to recover from that one. Very That's nice. That's one of the problems with Incineroar also is that his recovery is very readable. You know exactly where he's going to be. Mm-hmm. Ooh, almost gets the smash off. That's the command Ooh, and grab. that's out right there. That was it. Nice little command grab. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, he went, he went the way. wrong way! He went the wrong way with it. Oh, no. Nice recovery there. Ooh, watch the edge guard. Nice. Very nice. Nice grab. Ooh, good edge guarding there coming in from Incineroar. Oh, <laughs> but gives him another chance the... to recovery. And that is the game, folks. That's match number one. Goes Round to the ECBI Rams. Got two, two more matches coming up. We'll be right back after a quick message from our sponsors. Welcome back, everybody. What would you think about that match, Coach? 
We saw some interesting things coming out of the, the Rams tonight. I think uh, they're they're feeling the yeah. flashy characters and they're trying to show off a little bit. Yeah, but I see it that. was fun. Yeah, it was fun to watch for sure. Good match, good match. Now we I run think uh, we're gonna see. I think we're gonna see. Uh, what's his name? Uh, shoots, Windrift. Ooh, play we're first seeing Windrift. Nice because he didn't get to play last last uh the last match last round. Makes sense. Makes sense. They'll start it out. Ooh, this will be a good matchup. Is that a Kazuya? It is a Kazuya. Oh boy. Wind Windrift Joker versus uh Kazuya. Let's so Windrift was practiced at this last season. Because yes, uh, he was. He uh -oh. played against uh Sandfell all the time. That is right. Oh, gets Ooh, punished. Gets him with the combo. Ooh, that shield almost went away there. One hit. He just needs to respect his opponent a little bit, and then I think he he will have this. Yeah, Kazuya, it depends on how, how good the combos come are out of the Kazuya player, because Kazuya's got some pretty strong combos. All, he, all he's got to do is catch him in one. Looks like he's looks like he knows what he's doing, oh, no? This could be a kill. Oh, okay. The Kazuya missed messed up Went a little bit. Went the wrong bit. way. Yep. Yeah. He just keeps on doing the body slam. Is that smart? Get just chip damage until he can get a good hit on him. Oh, there's a nice little like combo that. from the Joker. I like that. Very well done. <laughs> oh snap. Comes right back in, almost kicks him straight out of the map. I always like watching Kazuya because he's got those BM moves, like the, the karate wow. moves that just kick hit. Just kicks. Yeah, the kicks and the punches and the uppercuts. And of course, Ooh. the laser. But you know, Very Joker's nice fun to watch too. Yeah, Joker's, Joker's fast, super fast. I actually kind of want to check out Persona. Oof. There it is. Yeah, make there's his yeah. persona right there. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah. So Kazuya can almost zero to death you if you're not careful. Ooh. And very nice, very nice combos. One of his weaknesses is in the air, even though his recovery is outstanding. Yeah. Oh, dodges. Dodge. Nice dodge. Nice little grab combo. Keep it, keep it going. All right. It looks like nice. he's just going to keep him off the stage. Oh, and almost. And one of the, yeah, one of the things about Joker and uh, our Joker is that he's not afraid to go off the edge. No, he's definitely not. Oh. Nice, nice little duck. There. <laughs> Dodges the uh, laser beam with guns. <laughs> yeah, that was beautiful. Ooh. Ah, doesn't get the uh, the gip that he it's wanted a close to. One. 154 damage, Kazuya. He just can't take too much more before he's going to be out of here. Yeah, but Not... one shot from the the Kazuya. Yeah, the Joker. one shot. Yep, one shot kills kills Joker as well. So it's, uh, it's a tight one right now. There it is. Nice yeah. kick. Great aerial. Gets out the up B and gets the aerial. Very nice. Very nice. I'm excited. We got we got to see some players I was not going to think I was going to see tonight. We got to see Ganondorf. We got to see Joker. Fantastic. Yeah, we get to see a and, lot of characters that we uh, don't usually see them play, and I'm excited for it. Yeah, I'm, I'm all about it. Yeah, I like yes. seeing the uh, the uh, Joker play against Kazi as well because it's like it was it's almost like watching them play last season in the in the arena. Right. Yeah, that's all they practice. They literally, when uh, Windrift joined the team, that's all they played was the Kazi versus Joker matchup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it <Just> was nonstop. <laughs> and he got. I remember him getting super frustrated with it, but I, yeah. he, it shows that he put a lot of time into that matchup. Oh yeah, he definitely put a lot of time into it. Now he he's 
obviously, as you can see, he was well prepared for Kazuya. I believe that's uh, <laughs> the sec. Was that the second opponent? That the was. Uh, the that, oh, it was the first. That was the first. That was the first. Yeah, that was the first. Yeah, that was the first. Sorry, second Sorry, match, first opponent. Second match, first opponent. So now we got that. We have two more opponents to go through. Uh, mm -hmm. And two stocks uh, remaining. Use Fox remaining for Mr. Windrift. Yes, sir. Looking good right now, Rams. Let's keep it up. Little Mac is back. Very fast. It's going to be a fast, a very fast paced fight. Yes. Again, there the problem with Little Mac is Joker can chase him off the off the stage. Yeah. Like and this. If he gets I think he's dead. Yep. yep. That that's the problem right there. Yeah, it's it's a tough matchup for Little Mac, honestly. I mean he can still kill the Joker, he just has to stay on stage. And he has yeah, he's to gotta, be aggressive. He's gotta make sure he kinda plays the center of the, the field here. Yeah. <laughs> He's doing a good job a, so far. I was gonna say I've seen a lot of little Max just rely on that. Uh, I think it's a side B, where you just run and then you punch forward, like a donkey punch. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Little Max in trouble. Oh, but can he get the KO punch? I think. He oh, he couldn't recover. Not. He did a, a dodge in the air, and that messed up his recovery, unfortunately. There we go, he recovered. All right, so now the goal for Windrift is just not to lose stocks. Yeah. And let his, let his teammates have that safety net. Or, or take all three stocks. He's going to try. Or, or take all three, yeah. Looks like he's making an attempt. Nice. Ooh, uh, little Mac just... is unable to recover. That's unfortunate for the little Mac. Unfortunate indeed. GG's. GG. Very well done. All right. He's made his way through a little Mac. He made his way through a Kazuya. And he's still and he's got two stocks. Still got his two stocks remaining. Can he run the gauntlet? Yeah, I'll bet you they are very excited right now in the arena. <laughs> they they are. They're, they need to remain calm. <laughs> <laughs> even even though they're up a lot you never know you never know what could happen exactly so last week uh we had our opponents they were on the ropes a little bit and they brought out jigglypuff yep i remember and jigglypuff like while she's easily killed she also kills really fast she jiggled their puffs a bit she jiggled their puffs a little bit and <laughs> took took the match act she actually brought the team back and took us to round three so, yep. gotta watch out. Oh, we got a hero again, huh? All right, All so right, here's the here hero player. Three, two, one, go. I don't right. exactly know what hero is from. Do you? Uh, do you know which? I think it's Fire Emblem, but I'm not sure. Is it Fire Emblem? Oh, you know what? I just saw the little the little um, blue guy. Mm. I think it's from like. Oh, uh, what is that game? Oh no. I, I'm not sure what he's from. Yeah, I can't remember. It's like it's like a monster game. Monster Hunter? No, not Monster Hunter. It's, it's like a Dragon uh, Quest, is it? Dragon oh, Quest. I, it's one of those games I never played because uh, I'm yep. not a PlayStation person. <laughs> not a yeah, it looks like, a, game, like right? a good game. Never played it either. Well, here we go. I think I think the hero was the fared the best. Oh, there's a big fireball. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Wind drift a little bit off guard. Yeah, threw me off too. I didn't expect that. Yeah, I was, I was I did not expect it to kill. Yeah, me neither. Wind drift's picking up the pace here, getting there as fast as he can. Nice lightning from the hero there. Ooh, nice. Good kill finish. confirmed by the Joker. All right. So, oh, so he's stunned, but 
But he's unable the, uh, to make it because of the hit. Yeah. He's able to recover. Oh, close. Dang. Unlucky. Hero's gonna try and edge guard here. To the best. Oh, what a chase by the Joker. So they did a little tech chasing with the grab. He saw that he was gonna recover onto the ledge and just grabbed him. Yeah, that was perfect. Oh. Nice try to get him that's, with the... that's crazy. How you see how far down he was? Yeah. He did. Yeah, that was a pretty good recovery. Ooh, there it is. Alright, can Windrift pull it off? If he he looks like he's trying as hard as he can to pull the what? Ooh, oh, no. No. unfortunately it gets Does caught it with the get smash. It? It's caught. <laughs> very, very good aggro. plays. <laughs> GG's. GG's. Alright. So Hero, the Dunny Charger Hero player, must run the gauntlet of our other two Rams team members. Yes. It's going to be tough for him. With one stock. With one stock remaining. Yeah, so it's definitely going to be tough. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Uh, Windrift gets eight stocks out of nine. That's fantastic. Yeah, this is pretty insane. But yeah, he, he must have been feel, feeling the Joker play because he hasn't pulled that out lately. He's been playing uh, Sephiroth. And yeah. Sephiroth is, I think, more comfortable to play online. So... Mm -hmm. But he was feeling it. Oh, yeah. The Ganondorf. All well, right. We got Ganondorf versus Hero. Three, two, so Hero literally can't can make zero mistakes this game. Because yes. one mistake and Gan Ganondorf will kill you. And we got another player after this as well. All right. Here we go. See uh, if Blue can take this last stock from Hero. There's the combo that he's been showing off. Yes, sir. Oh, that lightning's off. strong. Dang, 20 damage from uh, one little sword attack. Okay, okay. All uh -oh. right. Nice block. Nice shield at the right time there. I think. Uh... Oh. Nice. What a play by Hero. He wow. was facing he was facing the wrong way, didn't want to get tilt edge edge guarded, but That was a very nice play by Hero. Ooh. Ouch. Nice kick. That Basic, lightning so, is really strong. Oh, he, he chose What is this? So Hero uh Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Hero's got the ability that turns us up to steal, and he, he can pick it. But unfortunately for him, Ganondorf has a move that goes through a lot of armor. And uh, yeah, that was unfortunate for the hero player there. Yeah. All right, we'll be right back, guys, with the uh, player interview after the sponsor vid. All right, welcome back, everyone. Uh, we're going to be doing a player interview with Windrift, who was playing Joker tonight. All right, so Windrift, how'd you feel about the match tonight? So, 
we've, we, we knew going in that um, compared to last season, the way things went, that it was going to be sort of an easy match for us. Um, mm-hmm. Of course, we didn't want to get too cocky. We want to uh, play of course, um, very thorough, stuff like that. Um, and then uh, just compare, we faced them last season, and it went through sort of the way we thought it was going to, so that's how it went. <laughs> nice. Well, I'm curious, uh, why did you choose, uh, like, like when you started playing Smash, why did you choose Sephiroth and Joker as your mains? So Joker, um, I played Persona 5 a lot, and ah, when I, I got see. into Smash, I saw um, he was in the roster, so I picked him. Also, I follow, uh, like, uh, very high leagues of, like, competition, and my favorite Smash player is MKLeo. So uh, I love watching his matches online he play on Joker? YouTube. Yeah, he plays when he first like got his name out there. He was playing a lot of Joker and getting up high. He won a whole bunch of tournaments and stuff with him. So I kind of kind of eased me Look towards to Joker a little, a little bit. bit. Yeah, exactly. Nice. So as far as that game goes, is there uh, anything that you would have liked to improve upon, or or do you think um, you guys did everything pretty much as you as expected? I think. Not for myself, but as a team, we're really balanced. Um, we do mm-hmm. practice online and stuff like stuff like that before the matches, and it's not just one person dominating the lobby. It's all of us. Like wh- whoever blue wins one, I wins one. Uh, Hyrax takes blue out. It's just like one after the other. It's not a complete domination of the room. And very even. Uh, exactly, exactly. And I think this season, um, I have high hopes for this season. Uh, I know previous season was my first one. I was kind of getting my uh, my uh, feet in the puddle with all this, um, yeah, the way things were going and right? stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah, to reiterate, I think we have really good odds of getting up there compared to last season. And I'm really fortunate I have a team that's, you know, dedicated to the game as much as I am. So, Yeah, absolutely. Um, so you guys are now 4-0. Huh? How'd you feel? How do you feel about the rest of the season? Um, so the match before this was our toughest. However, um, we sort of adapt to the difficulties when, whenever we face them, we sort of strategize and things like that. Mm -hmm. So we will continue to do that. Um, I expect for the fifth match, uh, there's going to be quite difficult competition, but we will see how that goes. We're definitely going to start practicing a lot more, um, getting used to our weaknesses, uh, getting used to our strengths and sort of correcting our mistakes. Cause that's definitely um, the deal breaker between life and death is stock mm-hmm. for stock in the game. So we're going to definitely correct those mistakes when we do have the opportunity to do so. And we'll just get stronger from here on forward. Well, I think you guys are doing a fantastic job. Thank you so much, Windriff, for taking the yeah, time to talk Thank to you. us tonight. Uh-huh. Appreciate it. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us tonight. Once again, join us on Wednesday for some Overwatch. Last but not least, thank you to our sponsors, HBO Men and Game Fuel. Y'all have a great night. All right. Later.
Thank you.